Good morning, my dear friends. Um, just a few minutes before half past six in the morning. And I'm off on my way into work. Last night when I was editing the vlog, I, again, I was really chuckling to myself. In fact, at one point I was nearly crying with laughter. Now, some of the things I do in the vlog are funny. That's not a modesty issue, I just think some of the things are funny. Um, but some of the things are obviously specific to me and specific to uh, my family and specific to the way I am, specific to the language that I use, specific to the way I act. And therefore, I'll find them funnier than everyone else. So if I do something, um, and it catches me funny, then it'll make me laugh maybe more than it would make you laugh. <laughs> and that might have been the case when I was editing uh, the vlog last night, and that's the vlog that's gonna go up today, which is vlog 180. Um, I was just in stitches laughing at myself um, at certain parts during that uh, vlog, and it might not be the same for you, Ah, that's me done. Until Sunday. From Sunday onwards though, it is a run of six days. Um, and then only a day off before another run of five days, which is pretty pants. Any day now, my Pebble watch should be arriving. For those of you familiar, you will know that the Pebble is a, an independent smartwatch that was created following a project on Kickstarter um, to create a watch which was compatible with both iOS and Android devices, um, enabling you to um, establish a connection between your phone and your watch, essentially, so you'd get uh, notifications through your watch. But I received an email about a week ago saying that my uh, Pebble had been um, posted and that it was coming from Singapore. Um, so I don't know, I'm, I guess I'm expecting it any day now. I swear to God, what I just said in the car was an absolute fluke and speculation. But when I got home, guess what I found? Hey boys, what you up to? Uh, this is the baby angry bird. Eddie's still daddy. When was it I cut the grass? Was it two days ago? Well, considering it's been cut two days ago, <laughs> I don't know whether that's gonna show because of the, all you can see is my shadow, but it's grown really quickly, especially in this area here. This is the bit of the lawn that always grows really, really quick. This patch is lighter than those patches over there. This patch grows a lot. Hello. And this patch doesn't go grow. Ha <laughs> Look at your hair. Look at your hair. I don't want to see your bum. <laughs> I don't think people quite understand yet, but these are our fields. No one else's. 
Never mind football and kids' games, and as for other dog owners, unacceptable. Now, because Dex didn't get his normal opportunity to run around the field, and of course, do his business there, we've set up on the long route for the walk, and it's usually when I decide to get the camera out and start talking that he decides it's the best time to do his business. I'm absolutely stoked that my Pebble watch is here. I've been waiting probably the best part of 12 months for that thing to arrive. And finally, it's here. Of course, I'm absolutely itching to get the box open, to get it out, set up and on my wrist. But I know I want to do an unboxing video and there's no chance I'm gonna get that done this evening. Shall we go down here, Dex? I don't think we've been down here. Maybe I can let you off the lead. I'm pretty sure they want you to clean up after your dog. There's that sign there. And there's that sign there. To be honest, I don't know whether I could stop him fouling. The only thing I... Oh, hello. <laughs> Snipping my leg. The only thing I know I could do is clean up after him. Not sure whether it's a good idea to let him off the lead or not. But look at that canopy there. Wow. Is that foxglove? I'm not a particularly brilliant recogniser of the flora of this area but I think that that's foxglove and in my mind that's poisonous but I can't quite remember those little red spots though they look fairly ominous don't they so when I came home today I walked through the door and I was met with a cacophony Good word. Of colour. Well, maybe not a cacophony. Just one colour, really. We've been umming and ahhing for ages that we need to paint the hallway and the kitchen um, to just make it look fresher. And with the decoration that we've done out in the hallway and the utility room, etc., we knew we were ready for something just a little bit different. But the colour that I came home to was that. which has gone blurry you're filming it in darkness uh, well it that's that's i know i'm filming it in darkness sweetheart but that's what it's going to be like you turned all the spots around so it's not even shining on no it. i haven't done that at all you've turned, turned those on no i know i haven't but that's you know this is summer now as well in winter it's going to be even darker and we're in the house in the evening yeah but we're also going to change the lights no i know we are and here. the flooring i know we are yeah but anyway that's not the color just excuse us whilst we have a little argument um, but that's not the colour that we're going for instead we are going for that <laughs> so you can see Emma's been doing the edging in and it looks because of this light here on the camera which is energy saving it makes it look a lot yellower than it actually is so and it's not as dark as it looks on the camera here um although it is darker than white which is essentially what it was before it's certainly going to make a difference <laughs> to the hallway whether it's going to make a good difference i'm not too sure i'm sure i'll like it once it's done I don't normally stay up this late, but it has been question time. But at 25 to midnight, I need to go to sleep. So, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the morning.